Next, we would like to introduce you to our company. Let's go to our first speaker. We have a special presentation from our Western Atomy family. We have sales master, Troy Joan, who'll introduce us to Atomy. Hello everyone, my name is Troy Joan, sales master from Perth, Western Australia. Tonight I'll be talking to you about the company introduction and I'll give you an introduction about myself. I was born down south, I'm a country boy and uh, when I was growing up I saw two great men in my life make a, make a difference in where I was heading. So first of all I had my uncle who was a successful businessman. From my point of view as a young man he had everything. I didn't see all the stuff that went with it. So from my point of view at that time, it looked awesome. Whereas for my dad, he was successful, but I never saw him. So I thought, I would never want to do that, what my dad's doing, because he's always away. And uh, I would love to be a dad around my children. So in primary school, I started my very first retail and manufacturing business. It was going really well until the authorities shut me down. They, one of the students swallowed one of my products and uh, so the teachers shut me down. So that's, I learned very early on that um, you're not always in control, but still they, I had to work harder and smarter, I thought. Okay, so I went, I went on to graduate from school, definitely do that. But I always wanted to start my own business. So I went into the mining industry to save some money to actually then start my own business. 10 years later, I did that. I finished working in the mining industry after 10 years um, by my own choice and started from scratch my own IT business. So I went from working on the mines four days on, four days off, to now working an awesome seven days a week, 18 hours a day with nine staff in my own business. I was excited. I'm very, very, very excited. Now, if you can't see the sarcasm in what I'm just saying, oh my gosh. Along that journey, obviously something is missing. I used to have money and a decent lifestyle. Now I've got no time. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I don't see my family at all. And mega amounts of turnover, but... It just goes out the door just as quickly as it comes in. And there's something missing. Some customers that ended up being friends invited me to sit down with them and look at another option. I thought, oh, what the heck? I've got nothing to lose. They, so I went and sat down with them and they showed me an MLM. For the first time in my life, I got to see an MLM. And while I was watching that presentation, they showed something called the cash flow quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki. Absolutely incredible. You have to look that up. It will change your life. So Robert talks about being employed or self-employed. So I was employed for 10 years and now I'm being self-employed for three years and it's horrible, but I'm in control. Then on the other side, there's big business or business owners and then investors. And the difference is that these guys have a system and these guys do not. They, so this guy creates the franchise. The business owner buys the franchise and the employees are the people that work for your franchise as such. And it's like, oh my gosh, I get it. Because a week before, um, before that, I just got back from a holiday. And the week, it was only a week away from my business. I left in capable hands of nine awesome staff members. But I lost so much money because 
there's no system there and they don't care about your business or my business as much as we do. So it was a massive lesson, a massive life lesson that MYOB, mind your own business. They, so I, I saw, okay, I can now work towards building a business on the side of what I did. I had no time. So if, if you've, if you're not working 18 hours a day and you're saying that you don't have time, they, I'm not sure. I think you need to go back and revise a few things and look at your schedule. Um, because people come up with excuses as to why they don't want to do this or can't do this, blah, blah, blah. But I thought, okay, I'm all, I'm already working 18 hours a day. I've got a, a, a large family that I'm looking after as well when I see them. And, but yet if I don't change something in my life, nothing's going to change. I'm just going to get old very fast. So, Whenever I had five minutes spare or 10 minutes spare, I started putting that time into network marketing. And the team that was there offered the support as well. They said, Troy, if you put in an hour, we'll put in an hour. So they matched me time for time. And so within a few years, they had helped me achieve a significant level in that network. It was awesome. But it was so hard. It was so hard to achieve that level that being able to go beyond that point and help others achieve that was next to impossible. The costs were astronomical. You needed good cash flow coming into your household in the first place to be able to afford the products that if, if you were unemployed or um, not doing so well financially, you could not afford to do the network. You could not afford to do it. So it was very, very hard to help people, a lot of people for where, the, where they were at. So after 12 years, I gave up. I, and then a couple of years ago, um, a friend, Ingrid, came along and said to me, try I've got this MLM you need to look at. And I said, Ingrid, listen to this. And I was over it. I was over looking at multi-level marketing they, because I had such a difficult time thinking about it again. I didn't want to get my dreams and goals out of the box. So 12 months later, being a friend, um, I had Ingrid over for a coffee and um, Anne and myself were having a coffee with Ingrid and she was telling us a story. She said that she'd recently been to Korea and she saw an incredible um, product range and she brought it back to Australia, went to Sydney and gave those products to her dad who was bedridden um, with cancer. He could hardly walk at all. And she said within a few days it was like a miracle. He was up, he was vibrant, and uh, he was walking again. And so, whoa. Ingrid didn't know, while she's talking to us, that Anne's dad was in exactly the same boat. Exactly the same. But he had blood cancer, and he was in the final stages, so there wasn't much we could do. But he couldn't talk, and he was bedridden. So we thought, what the heck? Ingrid went away and came back um, with the products because uh, we said, please, 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 um, can we try them? And uh, so she came back with the products. We gave them to Anne's dad for three days. And on the third day, he was up like you and me, uh, walking and talking and cognitive. It was just astounding, truly astounding. And to tell you the truth, it's irrelevant whether you believe that or not, because it's happening anyway. You just need to try that, try the products that Atomy have for yourself to see the changes it makes. Okay, so um, Ingrid went away. 
And a few days later, she spoke to Anne. I didn't know about this and registered her in a multi-level marketing business. And then the two of them spoke and uh, said, okay, how are we going to get Troy started? They, and uh, so they gave me some material and I said, look, I am not going to look at that. They are getting involved. And they said, no, 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 just look at the material. They see what you think. So I thought, okay, I'll help you get out of this thing. I'll find all the flaws. And because I've got 12 years of experience, I've looked at many networks over the years and I was trained to pull other networks apart. The other networks would contact me all the time because I had achieved, along with others, a level of success. The company taught you how to protect your business and how to protect people in your business from being poached by other networks. So they taught you how to find the flaws and problems in other networks. Makes sense. So I started doing the same thing. And along that journey, I found what I thought were two flaws. But when I looked deeper into it, it ended up being two of the most incredible cornerstones. They, so it's amazing how when you get taught a certain way, you have your mind closed. And oh, I now had my parachute open. They, my mind was open and I could actually see it from an objective point of view. And I saw the benefits of what the CEO had created. So he had created a cap. He had created a cap within Atomy. And I thought, oh gosh, that doesn't sound too good. $50,000 cap. I'm not impressed with that. They, oh, Troy, that's a month. Are you serious? They, oh my gosh. Okay, we're fine with that. So if you can't live on $50,000 a month, wow. Anyway, so I decided to get started. And within a short period of time, the team came out of nowhere and actually helped myself go sales master. It's like, oh my gosh. And the team then helped Anne go diamond master. I was like, this is crazy. What's going on here? It's just, it was exciting. And so the journey is only just started for us. Hey, why not start yourself? Hey, so that was our introduction to Atomy. Hey, so it doesn't matter how you see it, as long as you see it. When the time is right, you will see it. I hope you don't dismiss it like I did. I lost 12 months. 12 months. Hey, it's like, oh, gosh. Hey, but anyway, your time is your time. Hey, so... Here's the company introduction from my point of view. The company has absolute quality at absolute price. The CEO, when he started the company back in 2009, um, he went to um, manufacturers, one particular, um, Kerry, the Korean Atomic Energy Research Institute, and uh, they, had a, they had made a product that um, was for astronauts. And uh, it was helping them so well with their health, uh, the scientists and so on, that he, the CEO, could see a market for it in the marketplace. And uh, he said, if I can take that product for a fraction of the price that you're currently charging, they, I will um, be able to distribute that product throughout the world. Now, he had virtually nothing of a business at the time. Then he went to 12, uh, about 17 of his friends. They were all financial delinquents. None of them had a cent to their name. And he said to them, if you come with me on this journey of creating a business called Atomy, and one day if you stick with me, I will give you a brand new car and I'll pay you $1.2 million in cash. Some of them walked away laughing at it, but a number of them actually saw the passion in him and saw that he meant what he said. So a few of them actually went along that journey with him. And at the end of this, 
you actually will see the slides of um, all of these leaders receiving what he promised. So from the get-go, he created a business where no one else can compete on price. He gets the highest quality products and goes to the lowest possible price so no other business person can come in and go, okay, we're going to copy Atomy and but do a better price. He's come so low that no one else can actually do it. They try and look at it and go, oh, no, there's no way. We can't do that. He has created a formula that looks after all of us, product and financially. Okay, so always remember this, absolute quality, so the best at the lowest. Isn't that amazing? To be able to get something that you couldn't normally afford for an everyday price that's actually lower than what you're currently using. Hey, so if you think you can find a better quality product at a cheaper price, you truly do not need to do this business, if you believe that. I'll leave that with you. Hey, so those who gain a better value from Atomy products can do this business. Hey, so for for me at the time, with a product that changed Anne's dad's life, um, he had, in those last few months, he had such a quality of life, it was awesome. They, it was sad that we lost him in the end, but that was inevitable. But he was either going to leave, not been able to communicate, and um, and worse than that, but he was able to communicate, he was able to be aware, and he looked as content as could be in a terrible situation. He said all his goodbyes, they, and it was just astounding. It is, <clears throat> it is priceless what he was able to do because of Atomy. <clears throat> so those, the products and the company are bigger than what you might see right now. So that way there are no victims in this country, company, not financially or product wise. Now look at this, a toothpaste for a toothbrush for a dollar fifty six. How ridiculous is that? It's gold coated. Your gums, if you got bleeding gums, they will stop bleeding. Absolutely astounding product. And look, one is sold every second throughout the globe. Look into the toothbrushes. You will be amazed. Like I said, he gets the best products in the world and we get it for an incredible, ridiculous price. Products from every area of your household. And the reason why it's so cheap is because we don't have to advertise. Every other product that you have in your house has TV advertising built into that cost, social media and billboards and so on. So when you're holding your toothbrush up or your toothpaste, that's not just a toothbrush you're holding. They, there's TV, there's um, social media, there's billboards, all built into that. And you can't see it, but you paid for it. We don't. Atomy guarantees a 100% refund, even if you use the product. For whatever reason, if you don't like it, it can be returned, no matter how much you've used. Try that with other brands. Good luck. So Atomy doesn't produce anything. What the CEO created was a global sourcing, global sales, GSGS. So it allows any high um, quality manufacturer to provide their products to us and then be distributed throughout the world, virtually anywhere in the world. So we have Atomy that brought together Kerry, the Korean Atomic Energy Research Institute, government funded, that then brought on board a 100-year-old company, uh, Colmar, and now they've created Colmar B&H. Colmar make things such as Longcom, Estee Lauder, Chanel, top quality products. Now they make 
better quality products, but only provide them to us. And we don't have to pay the $300 or the $1,000. A $300 product with those other brands, we only have to pay a fraction of that. A $1,000 product with those other brands would be about $100 with our brand. They, but it's the same quality, if not better. So on this slide, it has a number of manufacturers throughout the world. There are many, many more. There are so many more that are coming on board, that are cramming to get on board to provide their top quality products. And because we don't make them, if any of those com companies make a better product, we stop buying the old one and then provide to you the latest one, the better one. Whereas other companies that do make their own products, they have to keep on giving those products out until they run out before they share with you their new research and development um, latest product that they have. And that might be years because they've got so much stock of the old one. We don't have to do that. Straight away, you can get the latest and greatest because of the way that the CEO has set the company up. So we don't have to spend a cent on research and development. But when you get the latest um, toothbrush and toothpaste from X manufacturer, you're paying incredible amounts of money also for the research and development. Whereas with Atomy, we don't have to. Because we don't have any of the products, the, uh, so we have um, better products on the market, so the, the latest. The CEO enters into incredible negotiations with these manufacturers because of that. And the products are only stocked, a limited stock within all of our warehouses around the world. They, so there's a constant moving of products so that you always get the latest. But at the end of the day, I could talk all day about this, but if you decide that you don't want to do this and don't want to use the products, then it's like me trying to feed chicken to a vegetarian and wasting my time and it wastes good chicken. So at the end of the day, if you can't see the benefits in that, then there's no point. But if you can see the benefits of getting a good quality product at an incredibly low price, cheaper than what you're currently getting, at a high, high quality product than what you're currently getting, and you can also make some money for you and your family at the same time, then keep on watching. So the second decision that you need to make if you decide to keep going is, are you going to keep this to yourself or are you going to share the experience with other people? So when you go to the movies before the lockdown um, and you saw an awesome movie, did you come home and go, <laughs> I'm going to keep this to myself. They are not going to tell anyone how good that was. Or are you going to share the experience? Do you go and tell your friends and family, hey, that was an awesome movie. Or I've just had this incredible product it is just tremendous what it did, blah, blah, blah. Are you going to tell your friends and family about it? If you do, you're going to get paid. The company will reward you for doing that. Okay. So like I said earlier, if you don't think you have um, enough time or whatever to do this, remember, it's about prioritization. Okay. I was working 18 plus hours a day. Uh, seven days a week. Uh, if you have 10 minutes spare, put that into your future. For every little bite that you do, it buys back your time. So moving forward, if, if you're struggling because of COVID right now, or you know someone that is, you might not be, that doesn't have enough income, or there's not enough money at the moment for retirement, um, or possibly being made redundant, Atomy will solve that for you. A little bit of extra cash flow goes a long way. Business School 101. Business owners set the price. There, 
we have virtually no competition. The future of business, major mega deals, established industry, top brands, global competition. The marketplace is always shifting, ever shifting market demand. Technology. Technology is changing your workplace. So while people are locked down, the manufacturers that used to have employees working in there are contacting robot manufacturers and AI manufacturers going, have you got something that I can buy from you, a robot, that will do this, this, and this, and this? And the majority are saying yes. And some of them are saying, no, but we're going to make one. So how long is our positions going to be there for when we get back to work or get out of lockdown? I don't know if the future is going to be the same tomorrow or the next day. Are you willing to risk um, your future and your family's future on a maybe that it might, might stay the same? Because trust me, it's not. It's not going to stay the same. Search. All you have to do is um, put into a search engine, look for a product, see who provides um, the best value for that product they, and why. Atomy has been running for 10 years. They have over 400 individual items and many, many more coming online. In the next 10 years, the estimate will be over 200,000 products will be available through your own business. Here's some example. Um, kombucha, kimchi, pet food, mackerel. At the end of the day, through AI, through technology, the future is you will be able to talk to your devices in your house, whether it be um, Siri or uh, Google or your fridge, and you'll be able to say, I need XYZ product, and that device will order the product for you, and it'll turn up. It'll be a no-brainer. Some are saying that your fridge will even detect that you've taken something out of it and not returned it and then automatically place an order for it in the future. Things are changing at a rapid rate and it's very, very exciting. And that can happen in your business. This will happen with people throughout the world in your organization. So out of its business principles, absolute quality, absolute price. As you can see here, the brown line at the top is traditional business. Then you've got traditional expenses and then in orange, and then look halfway down there, you've got the blue Atomy prices, which is over half the drop in price. And then Atomy expenses is half that again. So, but the quality is greater, much, much greater. Value of our products, just by sharing products that are absolute quality, absolute price, the products walk out the door by themselves. We don't have to sell them. We just say, look, this is what I've used. This is what I've done. It's done for me. And people just go, wow. Please, can I have some? Here are some leaders. These people stuck with the CEO right from the beginning and all of their dreams have come true. Everything that the CEO told them has now come true. They are all members of Royal Club leaders. They are in the top 1% income earners, passive income in the world. So the decision is up to you. You're either going to say, I wish I had, or I'm glad I did. Anyway, guys, it's great talking to you. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. My name is Rhea Rajachit, Sales Master. Please remember to like and subscribe. Don't forget to tune in next month for another episode of Atomy Oceana Online One Day Seminar. It will be on Saturday, the 5th of September at 10am Australian Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you then. Bye.